Today we are going to learn about one of the most fascinating stories of the Bible which is even still discussed today. It's about how Moses parted the Red Sea. It's such a fascinating story that this mammoth huge miracle could take place that entire that an entire sea was parted. Just imagine children, you standing on Bandstand or Carter Road or Marine Drive and suddenly you see the whole sea parting and dividing into two and you see all the seabed and the bedrock and everything and you can walk across. How wonderful and how fantastic that would be. What a fantastic miracle God did for the Israelites that day. Come on, let's go and read more about the story.
is only one God. And he is here. With us. Didn't you enjoy that video, children? You saw Moses in his act of desperation. Moses trusted the Lord, but he was also so fearful for his people. But he trusted God. And imagine Moses being the leader of so many Israelites and all he could hear from the Israelites was grumbling and mourning. They didn't even bother to support Moses and tell Moses, I am with you, Moses. I am with you in the struggle. Rather, they wanted to stay back with the Egyptians and be slaves for them. What an ungrateful people the Israelites were at that time. And just imagine Moses as a leader, what he had to tolerate and how much he had to put up with. Kids, let's not be like that. Let's not be like the grumbling, whining Egyptians, uh, sorry, Israelites. Let's be children of God. And only when God parted the Red Sea and when the Israelites saw the dead Egyptians in the Red Sea, they, they began fearing God and realizing what a wonderful God they serve. So we see God has given all of us wonderful talents to help us with and to serve Him. But these talents belong to God and all He asks us for is to be faithful for Him, to faithful to Him. There is another little video, it's a kind of an action song, which I'd like you to watch as how God created us and gave us these wonderful talents and He in turn wants us to be faithful to Him. Let's watch this action song. Like always, we are not the owners and creators of the video. We are only using this video for mere illustration purpose to further enhance the lesson. The actual owners and creators of the video will be mentioned in the link below. Didn't you enjoy that song? How wonderful it is to know that we are so wonderfully and wholly made in Jesus and that he has given us these talents and our gifts and our talents belong to him and all we require to do is to be faithful to Jesus. Now coming on to our memory verse and today our memory verse is from Psalms 37 verse 28 and it says for the Lord loves the just and will not forsake his faithful ones. Let's repeat it once again. For the Lord loves the just and will not forsake his, his faithful ones. 
which means that God loves you who are just in Him. God loves you when you believe in Him. God loves you for who you are. And when you love God and He loves you, no harm can ever, ever, ever come across you. Nothing can ever touch you because you, my child, are a precious child of God. And He loves you with all His heart and all His might. And He is going to do great and wonderful things to you, for you. And all you have to do is just believe in Him and have faith in Him and be faithful to Him. You see, children, the Bible teaches us that we have all sinned and do not measure up to God's glory. It also teaches us the price for sin is death, which separates us from God. But even though we are sinners, Jesus died for us and paid the price for our sin. So all we need to do is just ask him to forgive us and receive this free gift of salvation. Just come on everyone, let's say this prayer with a sincere heart and Jesus will forgive you of all your sins and you will become a child of God and live with him for heaven, in heaven. And children, those of you who do not know what is this, this prayer is giving your lives to Jesus and asking him to take over your, his, uh, take over your life and that you live in him and he lives in you. Now, close your eyes, children, all of you, close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, please forgive me for the bad things that I have done. Please come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. In your name I pray. Amen. That's all children, that's all you got to do. Whenever you feel you've not been faithful enough to God and uh, when you feel you've done something wrong, all you have to do is say a simple little prayer and Jesus who died on the cross for you is listening up in heaven and he will forgive you of all your sins because remember children, you are his and he is yours forever and ever and you have pledged your life to, to Jesus you have pledged your life to love him and in turn he will always love you and always be faithful and just to you now before we come to the end of our lesson we have teacher Chrysantha who is going to take you through some amazing artwork so over to you teacher Chrysantha have wonderful fun with your handwork children and do send in pictures of all your handwork you do we love to see your art and craft and we love to see that you've listened to our lesson it so encourages us so enjoy teachers Chris, teacher chrysanthus artwork and we meet again for the final prayer Hello all you lovely children. So today instead of doing Aarti Sunday, we are going to do some little cooking and we are going to make something very easy to cook and that is someone's, that is everybody's favorite. We are going to make Maggie. So to start off, first we have lit the gas and then we are going to add some water. So I am making one packet of Maggie which means little water so that is half close to half cup of water so kids don't do this alone at home please have your mom or dad or someone help you while you're doing this because this involves fire and uh, hot stuff so do not do this alone at home please have someone to help you while you're doing this so now when the water is boiling we're going to add the maggie you're going to put it full so when you're eating it it's nice long strands of maggie and we're just going to give it a little stir to break it up so it's all going to cook evenly
so now we've been cooking this for about an a minute or a minute and a half and then we're going to add the maggi masala and then you're going to mix it all over and cook it for another 30 seconds 30 45 seconds so here we have a lovely maggi ready so what we're going to do is so when god's people came to the red sea moses raised his staff and the sea divided into two so we're going to make this a little fun so you're going to take your fork and see so moses raised the staff the sea divided into two so there you go you can part your maggi and also if you have a sibling maybe you can share the love with them i hope you enjoyed this lovely lovely cooking video please make it send some pictures try some new recipes you can add shezwan sauce to this if you want it little spicy you can add little onions and tomatoes if you want little more masala to it you can try all sorts of creative things i've made the basic maggi for you so that it's easier for you to catch up with it but hope you guys had fun see you all next week